DJI's next big reveal is just around the corner, November 18th, and all signs point to the Osmo Action 6 taking the spotlight. What's wild is that we're not even at launch day yet, and the internet's already seen just about everything. From full unboxing photos to accessory close-ups and even size comparisons with the Action 5 Pro, the leaks have basically turned this into a soft launch before DJI's own event. Let's start with that box image that's been circulating. At first glance, it looks like the standard combo, though a few accessories seem either missing or already pre-installed. The main camera unit sits front and center, confirming what we've heard, a refined design, the same wide field of view, and that larger sensor setup. Right above it is the protective mounting frame, that familiar quick-release cage DJI has used since the Action 4. It looks similar but might have been slightly tweaked, maybe smoother clips or improved airflow for cooling. Off to the right, there's DJI's signature white accessory packaging. You can spot the Osmo locking screw, curved adhesive base, and a couple of silica gel packets. Both the lens cover and rubber lens protector appear to already be attached. You can see that black circular paper with the yellow pull tab, the one that says tighten the lens protective cover before taking in water. That's the reminder cap DJI includes so users double check the waterproof seal before diving in. It's a small touch but very DJI thoughtful and practical. There's also a sealed packet tucked inside, likely holding the usual stickers, warranty info, and setup guides. Standard stuff. Then there's the size comparison photo showing the Action 6 shell next to the Action 5 Pro. Even though it's just the casing, it's clear the new camera is slightly taller and thicker, possibly to accommodate an upgraded heat dissipation system. Inside you can even see metallic framing, likely acting as a heat sink for the larger sensor and faster processor. The lens assembly also stands out, it's chunkier with a deeper bezel and wider protective glass. The overall front design feels more industrial and squared off compared to the smoother, rounded front of the Action 5 Pro. It definitely looks tougher and more performance focused. That larger lens isn't just for show either. It suggests better light intake, which usually means improved low light shooting, richer dynamic range, and more accurate colors in tricky lighting. All thanks to the new 1 over 1.1 inch sensor, which is roughly 40% larger than the, than the 1 over 1.3 inch sensor used in the Action 4 and 5 Pro. In the action camera world, that's a meaningful leap. So yes, the Action 6 is bulkier, but it's the kind of bulk that brings better performance DJI is clearly prioritizing image quality and stability over shaving off millimeters this time. It's all about getting that cinematic grade performance in a compact camera. Now about pricing. The leaks suggest the standard combo will go for around 379 euros in Europe, 329 pounds in the UK, and roughly 379 dollars in the US. That's a solid price for a flagship level action cam setup that includes the essentials. The adventure combo, meanwhile, is expected to be priced at 479 euros or 419 pounds or 479 dollars. That version usually adds extra batteries, a multi-battery charging hub, and more mounting accessories, clearly aimed at creators or travelers who shoot for extended periods. That puts the Action 6 slightly above the Action 5 Pro, but still competitive with the GoPro Hero 13 Black & Insta360 Ace Pro 2. Considering the new sensor, better dynamic range and rumored low light upgrades, DJI is clearly targeting the high performance tier without crossing into over the top pricing. That puts the Action 6 slightly above the Action 5 Pro, but still competitive with the GoPro Hero 13 Black and Insta360 Ace Pro 2. Considering the new sensor, better dynamic range, and rumored low light upgrades, DJI is clearly targeting the high performance tier without crossing into over the top pricing. Now switching gears, DJI is not just focused on action cameras. Igor Bogdanov recently posted on X, confirming something that's been floating around for months. The DJI Avada 360 is indeed in development. Those early rumors about a DJI 360 drone, they weren't just talk. Igor's confirmation basically solidifies that something big is coming. And while there's no confirmed release date yet, 2026 seems like a realistic window. Especially since Insta360's Anti-Gravity A1, a direct competitor in the 360 drone space, is set to hit the market in January 2026. That timeline makes DJI's move feel even more plausible, like they're gearing up to go head-to-head -head in the same launch cycle. 
Leaked images show a Cinewoop style drone, compact but powerful, with propeller guards and a 360 camera mounted up front. If accurate, it could be using the same Osmo 360 tech or a specialized version tuned for aerial footage. A few weeks after those leaks, reports suggested this might be the next evolution of the Avada series, possibly named DJI Avada 3 or simply DJI 360. Uh, from what's been spotted, it looks like DJI is combining a dual-lens 360 camera system with the agility of an FPV drone, basically merging immersive 360 capture with high-speed flight. The prototype reportedly uses the Avada 2's frame, complete with full prop guards and a sturdy aerodynamic design built for both indoor and outdoor flying. Unlike earlier guesses, this one probably won't fall under the sub 250 gram category. Avada drones are generally built for stability, power, and endurance rather than ultralight portability. That said, DJI could still surprise us, especially with competitors like the Anti-Gravity A1 aiming for that sub 250 gram sweet spot. It wouldn't be shocking if DJI finds a clever way to trim the weight just enough to stay in that range. Rumors also suggest AI-assisted features including automatic obstacle detection, Flight Hub 2.0 integration, and even smart auto-editing tools that can stitch 360-degree footage into cinematic clips automatically, perfect for creators who want high-end results without heavy editing. Even though DJI hasn't confirmed anything officially, all signs point towards something major happening behind the scenes. Between credible leaks, early prototypes, and Igor's post, it's clear DJI is exploring a new era of aerial 360 video. Video, they've already proven what they can do with the Osmo 360, and if they carry that same technology into a drone, it could completely reshape FPV filmmaking. So yeah, November is looking pretty exciting. With the Osmo Action 6 reveal right around the corner and growing chatter about the Avada 360, DJI is clearly gearing up for a huge finish to the year, maybe even setting the stage for its 2026 product lineup. That wraps it up for now. We're just days away from seeing what DJI has been cooking up with the Osmo Action 6, and if these leaks are anything to go by, it's shaping up to be one of their most exciting launches yet. As for the Avata 360, it's expected to take flight sometime in 2026, so we've got a bit of a wait. But if the early details hold true, it'll be worth it. Let me know which one you're more excited for in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you're here when DJI finally makes it all official. Peace.